Yeah, so nice result um, at Arden Street against North Melbourne. So just the ability of our guys to to absorb, I thought, a pretty poor um, or an inconsistent uh, performance the week before and come out and play uh, the way that we like to or the, the way that we um, have kind of established our trademark to look across this year, we were able to deliver on that against North Melbourne and, and to get a result was really nice. Um, you know, now that puts us, you know, we don't... We don't dwell on this stuff too much, but post-game you're able to have a look at, at what the ladder looks like and where we are, and, and you know, that solidifies that we will absolutely play finals, which we're excited about, but um, getting that result was very important. We're a little Should bit probably. slow to start, uh, first quarter, the tricky conditions, um, fairly strong wind to one end, and North, you know, to their credit, um, took advantage of centre square bounce. They had some real experience in there with uh, Greenwood, Cunnington, um, you know, Lazaro had, had some speed on the inside uh, at centre square bounce so very early they took the game away from us around clearance capitalised early but to our guys credit they clawed their way back in from about the 15 minute mark of the first quarter and um, yeah, the attitude of our players when I got to them at quarter time um, despite being down by three goals um, there was a buzz and an energy about them that uh, filled me with a lot of confidence that then translated into a a really strong second and third quarter. Um, and then, you know, patched to the last quarter, we yo-yoed a little bit, but then found a way to, to push away in the end. So, um, yeah, in particular, after the first 15 minutes, a uh, really satisfying performance. Just loving coaching these guys, along with the rest of our coaching group, you know, Nick Daffy, Chris O'Keefe, Simon Riddock, we're really loving coaching these guys because anything we're, we're saying at the moment, they're absorbing really strongly and, and executing. So, you know, to give you an insight, we showed some vision at half time and, um, show what it, what it should look like if we get the opportunities and it was nearly you know, kick for kick and, and play for play how, how the vision looked at half time so we were um, yeah, really really pumped with how the guys are very coachable at the moment um, and have been for a long time and, and the leadership group is playing a, playing a front line or on the front line in terms of bringing the other, others, along, uh, others along for the ride Yeah, Matt's had you know, a, a really cruel year with injury um, couldn't get himself right for a large chunk of the start of the season, then returned in, in, a, in a blaze of glory and, and was playing really good footy and went down um, with a fracture to the, to the collarbone. So that's now healed and he's put in an enormous amount of work. And, and Matt's someone that you just don't question how he prepares and, and he executed his role on game day as well. Yeah, we've thrown Hazy around a little bit this year. He's, he's probably played in every position. He's played back, he's played up, up, around, the, up around the ball on the wing. Um, he is a natural forward and, and for the last... 12 months he's probably been our most consistent forward um, and yesterday we were able to put him back into that role exclusively um, and yeah I think he's been threatening for a game like that for a while that he's really team driven um, as long as we're going well and, and committing to team and, and getting results he's he's happy but I think from our point of view we're stoked to, to see him get some reward for what I think has been a really consistent year um, without that game where it's really um, shown up on the stat sheet. Yeah, so final um, home game for the season. Home and away footy is coming to an end, but uh, what better opportunity to get down on a Sunday afternoon? The weather's getting better. We're, be we're into August, so the sun pops out in August. Get down here uh, for a 12 o'clock start, um, which uh, for what should shape as a really, really good um, game of VFL footy.